So one of our little girls squints right here. Must have sprained her right leg, because as you can see, she's limping. We're taking her into the vet today to see what's going on. I don't know if you can tell, but from where I can see, it looks like her right knee is a bit swollen. That's what it looks like. But we're gonna go get you fixed up, darling. Up, honey. I'm just getting the I'm just getting the kennel set up for transporting squints over to the vet. She does have a pretty decent limp, and we're gonna go figure out what's going on. I feel that she jumped up on something and kind of twisted her knee because it does look swollen. But we'll wait and see what the vet says. All set up. Got the alfalfa in the back there. Plenty of bedding for her to be able to keep her feet footing. And then we will uh, we'll let you know what the vet has to say about our old girl squints. Let's go say hi to the boys. Good morning, buddy. You guys had a pretty eventful evening with all that bang that y'all were doing. It settled in nicely, though. Oh, you're so sweet, Primrose. I'm just going to get mom looked at. That's all I'm going to do. That's all I'm doing is going to get mom looked at. Let's get you back in here. Sweet. I promise I'll have her back as soon as possible. I'm on my way to the animal hospital. What's really cool about some of the animal hospitals around here is that they see small livestock right there at their facility. They have the mobile vet services, which somebody can, of course, come out, one of the veterinarians can come out and take a look at your animals right there on the spot. But you can save yourself some money if you're willing to bring the small animal in, uh, because they usually charge, you know, anywhere between, I'd say 50 to $75, depending upon the state of emergency, if they come out and visit you. So if it's something like this, where it's kind of routine, and they don't have to rush to get out to come see you and you have the means to be able to get the animals in, then it's uh, it's worthwhile to go ahead and bring them in. And this veterinarian is really great. They, uh, they have been taking care of our animals for at least the last couple of years and we absolutely love them. They're very matter of fact, they're very straightforward and they do a wonderful job of letting us know exactly what's going on. So probably go see Dr. Tori today. She is really fantastic with livestock. She uh, she has taken care of our goats in the past and we adore her and she's really good at what she does. So what I'm thinking, if it were me, you know, I'm not trying to play the veterinarian here, but what I think is going on is that Squints may have twisted her knee. Um, she puts weight just fine on all of the other legs, but we have a manger that probably needs to go. Uh, it is a manger that will hold one whole square bale of hay, but the problem is is that there is slats and holes in it, uh, that way animals have access to it, but I think that she may have accidentally caught her leg in it and twisted it as she was trying to come out. So that's my suspicion and hopefully all she'll need is just some real quick uh, you know, x-rays. I hope nothing's broken. Please be thinking about her on that. And, uh, and pretty much just something to help make her comfortable so it can heal up just fine. Hard part about an animal, of course, is trying to say, hey, why don't you take it easy? You know, when I used to see my uh, patients when I was practicing medicine, real easy that I could just say, so what I want you to do is I want you to take it easy for the next two weeks. People will actually do that, unfortunately, with an animal. It's very difficult to try to get a goat to not be active and not do things. Uh, they're super tough. So be thinking about squints and we'll let you know how things go. Uh, hopefully they'll let me take some videos and stuff like that while we're in the veterinarian clinic. Hopefully they're cool with that and we'll show you what's going on. 
So Squints is already in the patient room and she is waiting to be seen by the doc. Her going to the bathroom is working just fine. And she's actually walking on it pretty good. She just favors it. So that's why we're kind of thinking that maybe it's more so sprain than anything. She was around looking for her boy yesterday. I mean, goodness gracious. Oh boy. She, she, she must have been correct. she must have been in some heat. We think she was. But she made the trip just fine. Oh squints. You're gonna be good. Maybe she just trained you to be one of our indoor pets. What are we looking at? Do you see like some yummy looking bush out there? Squints. Hey, Squints. Very much so. She's a wonderful girl. So we just got news that she just has a lesion on her right hoof. Um, so they're gonna clean it up, get an antibiotic for us, and um, thankfully it is not a broken leg or a sprained leg. We uh, are all done uh, with the vet, and it actually is like a good bad news situation. Um, good news is, is that we're not dealing with like a broken, you know, leg or a uh, broken hoof or anything like that. Bad news is though is that despite our best efforts, we need to improve our ability to take care of their hooves because uh, goat's hooves can be very finicky and unfortunately what old girl got was in between, there's two pieces to a hoof and in between the hoof some sort of material must have got in there and started making that skin break down because we're dealing with uh, uh, what is called a lesion or pretty much kind of a small wound in between the feet. And so she has to be on a short dose of antibiotics and we have to keep it clean and then we have to trim up the hooves as best as we can. So rest assured everything's good um, but super glad that we actually decided to look into it because we know how wounds are. If they're in a spot where they're skin touching skin they're just going to continue to get worse. They don't really do a good job of staying good. They only get worse so um, pretty happy that we found what was bothering squints and that it wasn't something like a broken leg or you know a super sprained knee or something like that so we're super grateful and um, we'll have her back to her babies here very shortly. Well y'all we're back and squints is gonna be okay. We're back everyone. I'll have her back to you momentarily. You're going, honey. Shush. Definitely not do that. And we are back home. It was so traumatic. I know I'm so sorry I had to take her from you. that she would be back. She's back now. She is. She's back. Oh, you're already walking around a little bit better. Good. Get you all fixed up. Give it a little bit of time, honey, and you'll be fine. All right, y'all. Enjoy the rest of your day.